All right, twos and threes, four lands, a little bit floody. Maybe we'll get our mid game. Seems okay. Stop bullying green. Look, green had it coming. Green has been underperforming in Ravnica. Why the green hate? Uh, you know, green racist. All right, so I don't know what colors he's playing yet, but if he's playing Golgari, I want this card on the board because it just screws up all their early game explorer and makes their whole life miserable. It is Golgari. I've just made his whole life miserable. His game plan for killing this is Assassin's Trophy or uh, Vraska's Contempt. Sure, pull in some explore creatures. That'll help you out. Now, do I want to start beating him to death in the air? Yes. Okay. Well, game plan. I'm still down on green and rabbit after they change the bots. I'm a little less down on it, but not much, much, much less down on it. Murder and not murdering the honor guard? He's insane. A, who the fuck runs murder? And B, the honor guard. Okay. Now we are out of gas, so maybe that was fine. This is seven, eight. Two cards off uh, sending with this. Murder. I guess this is like budget Braska's Contempt. It's better in this scenario. Just can't hit Planeswalkers, which is like such a big portion of Contempt. Do not fear, my lord. Deliver us to victory. Like, I prefer the Honor Guard to stay alive, but all the black-green removal isn't damage-based, so putting counters on it doesn't do anything. So this incentive, this this uh, makes it more likely that my uh, other creatures stay alive. Or rather, more likely that I get the benefit out of a Johnny. Alright. Let's run out of land. Can't resurrect anything, it's just the Angel resurrects two or less. 3-3 three, three, Grace is a pain in the ass for, uh, for Golgari to deal with as well. Am I playing Constructed? I am, yep. Casual Constructed. Alright. What's he got? He murdered the wrong target. He could be exploring to his heart's content. The wild, wa the wild growth waku could be like a 25-25. Well, 25-27. No. The honor guard stays strong. Flower? You can't run that in a black green deck. It doesn't work. Is he absent? He missing planes? He was. Well then, okay. All right. Yeah, he might be fine finale me this turn. That'd be bad. Ah, it would be annoying. All right. Well, we'll set up to draw just in case. We'll leave history in case it is fine finality. That would make a lot of sense for a six-turn play. That would actually get him back in the game and keep him from conceding. If he kills everything, Ajani still lives. We can start resurrecting creatures right off the bat, like our honor guard, and then uh, bring back uh, history. So that's fine. Okay. I can't make it invulnerable, unfortunately, so it's going to die. Okay. All right. Well, minus... And throw out a Thorn Lieutenant. We might have another Sweeper, but we have another History, so that should be fine. And then a History. Okay. And he's still got a scary board to deal with. Like, 
he could be winning this game. These plays are all plays that beat me, except he murdered the wrong creature. Sure, Carnage Tyrant, certainly nasty. All right, so what do we get here for a buff? If we buff everything and attack, we get in, so we could plus first to even out the power. So this would be two, four, six. We get in six out of nine. It's not quite good enough. Another finality here is particularly bad. Um, that would be the big blowout here. Would be another fine finality. We could just resurrect whatever he kills if it's not a token. This goes up to what now? This goes up to uh, six, seven. So it doesn't. Oh, it does kill his creature. If he doesn't block it, he dies, right? So we just attack with everything, force him to block with that. He can't not block this. And this goes to six. I can make it. Yes, he could. He can block that. And he takes six, seven. So if I pump each of those, he has to block that. All right. And that lives and kills his Carnage Tyrant. Seems decent. Uh, okay. I accept your loss. Good. He had an option. He had the option of either blocking and living another turn or dying. I'm doing a lot of math for being the attackers. I'm sorry. I'll try harder to just shove with everything. Okay. Try our best. Maybe you put too much thought into it because presumably, well. Okay, uh, twos and threes seems good. I don't really want a flower flourish here, but I'll probably do one on one. Pull out a forest. In case we draw a Vivian. I haven't resolved the Vivian with this deck yet. Help collector. I wish I could interact. That was bad. Alright. So next turn we're out of gas. And if this is green stompy, which this probably is, uh, two twos are really not going to cut it. This is going to end well for us. Ooh, Johnny is a good draw, though. Anything that is a play after history is a good good, good thing for us. This is green stompy. Got three attackers as Johnny goes up to five health. Can't get through this turn, although belt collectors getting bigger are a big problem. So I want it on the Knight of Grace and the other token with no attacks. Doesn't matter which token. This one, if I change my mind for some reason to attack, would be something. But I don't want to attack here. It's two mana off Thorn Lieutenant. Sure. God damn. He's been double spelling for two turns now while pumping his creatures. It's pretty scary. Isn't Big Green supposed to have, you know, big green creatures in there as well?
So I want to pump this, pump again, and attack. Knight of Grace says a 3-3 three, three is a good blocker versus his board. Four mana, he's one-off pumping. Thorn Lieutenant's next turn, even if he hits his land drop. Of course, the worst thing for me is like the 12-12. There's 12, so not a lot I can do about the 12-12 right now. I still want to protect Dijani. Can win the game off Dijani. So I probably am attacking with the tokens. They are vigilant. And I'm probably not attacking with anything else. It's five different than... Uh, six is different than five. Prevents him from gang blocking. Six power. But this still requires gang blocks. All right, so we're going to run this out. I'm okay trading one for one with his creatures right now. It decreases his ability to run a board. I can't run Flower to Flourish this turn. I, I've already played land, so I can't get the next one out. So it's that. We'll pump up this one and that one. Go to combat with the two five fours. The vigilant ones, but not the five four here. Oh, this isn't mono green. This is something else. I think this is like whatever elf ball is. I don't. I've never played against elf ball. I don't know what that means. So, sure, you can trade one for ones with pelt collectors if you go throw lieutenant pelt collector. Okay, that's fine too. Yeah, I trade no to night tokens for this. That's fine. Looks good to me. What does the Johnny fire at? Seven? Yeah. Yeah, that's not in big green. Is it in big? That's... I don't know. The 5-4 is definitely in big green. So a couple options here. The first is Flower Flourish. The second is Flower Flourish. Third is Hold Flower Flourish. Do we have stuff we can recur right now? No, because we've drawn a fuck ton of lands and nothing else. Fortunately, next land he hits is this. He does. He guaranteed himself not to hit a land there. I don't think attacking with these. They're not vigilant. I just lose a Johnny. So I think this turn is pump again. Let's see if I can win with the tokens. Should have been Temple Garden. I don't know why it wasn't. Just habit. Probably makes no difference here, but... Okay. Is he going to try to prevent Ajani from embling? Doesn't care. Well, the thing is, this thing is going to become a 6-7. If I get these to 6-7, he can't even attack with that. I don't think he can deal with two 6-7 first strikers as big green with no splashes. He can't remove the creatures, right? So he has to get his uh, dude out. Is that our emblem? I don't think emblem actually helps me versus this board. Even if I produce three a turn, I just sit there. I think I want to wait one more turn. So what does he do? He attacks. Does he kill the Johnny? He does, and he just loses two creatures, though. That's not good enough. Nope, we emblem here. Okay. He can attack through knights. He just has enough damage to go around it. I kill two creatures and he kills it. It's 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 damage. Kills a Johnny. So we can't wait. We'll just lose it. So now he has to deal with the fact that eventually we'll flower flourish kill him. He can't kill me, but he could have killed a Johnny here. The knights block. But the tokens aren't here. I can't both ult him and pump him. I either lose a Johnny because he attacks with everything this turn and kills it. And he takes two losses to do it. But... I can't win this. Now I can win this. Now I have a win condition. I just create three one ones per turn, every single turn. And then I overrun them with Flower Flourish at some point. I mean, we're going to draw every single land in our deck right now. And just wait. I mean, we've had four cards, right? We've had History of Benalia, Ajani, uh, Knight of Grace, and Knight of Grace. And those have been our cards. That's the deck we're playing with right now. Okay. 
All right, so I want to kill him with an alpha strike. So what do we need to go through? Three threes. We need seven of them. That's 21 damage. So we need his number of blockers plus seven. He has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we need 15 creatures. We're at 12, so we're almost there. So it's next turn, we can go kill him. We'll do math again next turn to make sure, but that looks right. This is our first, this is our fifth card that's actually not a land or a land supplement. Now, thankfully, this is a dual thing, so we get more. All right, so let's do math. He has four, five, six, seven, eight blockers. That means if he blocks all eight, seven go through. Seven threes is 21, he dies. Let's do that. I can't get a fog in hand. I don't have to swing with everything. I can just swing with the 15 dudes. That's enough to kill him. I don't think there's any flash creatures. I create three more blockers afterwards. Keep my six sixes. Double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Seven get through. Seven threes are 21. Should be good enough. All right. Doesn't matter if he root snares. We still live. Doesn't look like it looks like math is not for defenders either. See the way they've done the stack, a uh, stack of tokens like this is a little visually confusing. The stacks always look smaller than they are. What a glorious victory! <laughs> Up to 65, feels good. All right. <laughs> Both these decks have been super fun, man. Why am I not doing this more often? These have been hilarious. <laughs> oh, man. All right, so it turns out embling a Johnny before, uh, before he killed it was kind of good. Just a little bit not so bad. Is that worth the clip? I, I think that is. Okay. We got two threes and four again. Johnny doing work in this deck. Okay. Red again. What type of red you think? The reddest of red. So... The only thing I'm going to do differently here is because I've got history, I'm going to value the avant uh, the Vanguard a little bit less. Didn't have a shock. That's promising. Or didn't want to use it. It's red-blue. It's interesting. Is there a syncopate? I don't know if that deck normally runs syncopates. Because it probably doesn't. But I have no idea what he's playing. Could be just guy control, just missing lands. Alright. Dragon's Horde. To be fair, I was not expecting that. It's just straight up a Johnny time. Could get the knight out for the buff. Is that better than a Johnny? It's the same. It's four damage. Johnny's four damage, but I developed the Planeswalker. No, it's better. Do a Johnny here. He's tapped out, too. Man, curving out feels nice. He's not tapped out. He's got this shit. I forgot about the dragon. This is a one man of any color thing. No friend of mine. All right, so I'll play safe here. He could have shock. So I'll play it on the one that's not attacking.
And if he wants to shock, he can either shock the Vanguard, which is going to stay alive, or he can shock the 2-2. Spell Pierce would have been nasty, sure. Okay. So he had a shock. Could have cast it last turn. Alright. Single target removing uh, Benalia tokens are pretty good for me, though. So we're gonna go to combat, then buff these two. Okay, I just looked up there and he's at seven too. I don't know how he got down to seven, but it's pretty joyous. Look how far you All right. Bathless. Okay. Sure. Get a resplendent angel over here. So presumably he just eats one of our knights. Whichever one I make bigger. So I pump that one for four. So what is he? Is he dead right now? This is a four. That's a four when I attack. Just make everything four then he can't win. So that's fine. All right. Feels pretty good. He's at seven health with the one blocker. We have three four power attackers. That will do the trick. All right. Fleet Swallower. It's a fish. It's a fish in a creating a whirlpool. It's a magic fish. Or it's a very small boat. What if this is just a regular sized fish and it's a tiny, tiny boat? Whenever it attacks, target player puts the top half of their library rounded up into their graveyard. <laughs> what a bizarre ability. I guess you're doing it for graveyard recursion because you don't deck somebody like that. It just gets like less and less portions. Has this deck card ever seen constructed play? All right, anyways. <laughs> 